I don't know if you guys noticed, but lately, over the past year or two, Buff Bunny's really been dipping and diving into their seamless legging game, and I'm kind of here for it. When it comes to Buff Bunny, I really love to dress their pieces up. I love to wear them athleisurely. They're comfortable, they're soft, the materials, they're just very luxurious, high quality. So I tend to like to wear them more or less out and about, at home chilling. However, as of lately, Buff Bunny's really been experimenting with their seamless leggings. More gym appropriate materials and things like that. Whoa, Buff Bunny, bam lamb, whoa, Buff Bunny, bam lamb. One of my favorites from this new generation of Buff Bunny leggings, they're BBL leggings. It stands for Buff Bunny's best leggings. False. <laughs> We see what you did there. We see, hey, we see. About a year ago, they came out with these BBL leggings for the first time ever. I believe it was. Has it really been a year? It's been over a year, I wow, believe. Dude. I think it was during their cake collection. I could be wrong. There was a lot to love about these leggings, but I haven't actually restocked on any of the launches afterwards. Like every single time they would come out with new colors and BBL leggings, I kind of gravitated away from it because there was a few things, if you remember from my first review, that I just wasn't vibing with. The compression of the waistband, way too tight. That was like the big thing. Well, fast forward, actually last month I had a gal say that they actually made some really crazy changes that now make it more suitable to wear for people like me, for my preferences. So in today's video, I wanted to deep dive into Buff Bunny's BBL leggings. We're gonna actually get to test it in our gym here. I'm actually in the mood for a really dope workout, so you guys are gonna tag along with me. We're gonna test these leggings out. Before we hop into the gym with it, let's see what these leggings are actually looking like up close and personal. I actually have two sizes here. I have a small, my true size, which I'm wearing right now. This isn't the color chamomile or chai la chamomile. Yes, this is in the color chamomile. It's a very light tan. And I also have in a medium, a size up, Earl Grey. How funny, it's both the name of tees. And both I really love, by the way. Like, I love both tees. Definitely stay till the end of the video if you want to see a size comparison, just in case you're really unsure of what size to go for. Ooh, wow. We have a very squared off waistband. This isn't exactly embroidered, but it's sewn within the actual band itself. So this is a very heavy ribbed waistband. See that stripe right there? I think that adds a little dimension. You got some tonal layers here. It's looking like a two-tier ribbed waistband. Now, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but check out the space right here. From the bottom of the waistband to the actual groin, what is that, like two inches? Sure don't look like two inches now when I'm looking at it. <laughs> That's what she said. This is how. It looks amazing on the glutes. This is so reminding me of the whole setup of the V seam legging that I love so much from Lazuli label. They had the same thing where I would pull it out of the bag and I'm like, there's actually no way I'm gonna fit my whole bum here. What's gonna happen with this part? So there's no scrunch on the outside. So I was like, well, then it must be on the inside, right? No, no scrunch on here either. It's just a flat lying seam. So then it gets me wondering like, where does this magic come from then? It's just, it's just how these are built where you don't even have to really do much. They didn't really have to try much. It just gives ultimate glute separation just by the seam. Now from the front of the waistband, if you were to roll it down, oh, what's that? You have the Buff Bunny logo, really big branding. So that leads me to believe these are just meant to be rolled down if you like. This V seam is apparent, but it's not exaggerated. It looks kind of flat, like it's almost very horizontal. There's not a whole ton of arches, but when you actually wear it, all of a sudden your booty really just shapes out the legging. And now these look really exaggerated. When you hold it up versus wearing them, it's like just two different animals. You're like, are you sure this is the same legging, Ash? Yeah, it is. Under the cheeks, you have two little smiley contours. These are very breathable. In fact, so much so, you can see your flesh under here, okay? So bending, like you can actually see my skin tone. The entire body of the legging is very solid. There's no more contouring. There's no crazy seams. It's overall just very simple. There's a good amount of stretch. But what's crazy is that this legging, when worn, it looks paper thin. But when you're holding it, it feels like there's a nice density to it, okay? Like you can really tug on this legging, really pull on it, and it's not fragile, okay? I'm really pulling with all my might, and it's not something that I feel like it's gonna tear. Can't really throw a hole through it, you know what I'm saying? This is not like the Alphalete Amplify, where it's like so paper thin that you're like, what the freak? I feel like this is the type of seamless legging where you don't have to tiptoe around it like you did the Amplify, especially because there is no actual scrunch. So if you were to pull it up right here, 
it's not gonna actually snap on you. Now, when feeling this, this doesn't feel buttery soft. There's a texture to it, especially when warm. It does feel kind of gritty. I feel like you could definitely rub weights on this baby. You could take a barbell, do some hip thrusts. And I feel like the integrity of the legging is gonna remain whole. You don't have to worry about damaging it. Really nice length on me. I'm five foot three. Over here, you can find the inseam, the material, size ranges, all that good stuff. So I knew going into this legging, when I first put it on, it's not gonna cover cellulite. It's too thin of a material. Like I said, not as thin as the Amplify, but when you actually wear it and stretch it out, it feels thinner than when you just hold the legging in your hand. So that's definitely gonna be a reason why it's not gonna hold you in enough. It's only a moderate compression at best type of legging. So you're gonna jiggle around a little bit and it's all good. I feel like if you're really trying to do heavy intense cardio and that's an issue for you, you might wanna gravitate more towards a higher compression legging. This really is more of a typical weight training, leg day legging, okay? Wanna emphasize the glutes, the legs, really trying to work lower body. This is the type of legging that would be great for that. The compression of this waistband fits entirely different than the other version of this. When they first came out, this was so tight around the waist that I was like, oh my God, I might have to size up a full size. Here, I do not feel like I need to. This compression is perfect. It's moderate, it feels like it's tight and snug enough, just enough to hold this legging up and make it functional for when I'm squatting and actually doing working legs. But it's not gonna be overly compressive where I'm very annoyed at the feeling. Just in case you're thinking about running in this, Let's see if you can actually run in it and it stay where it needs to stay. I can't believe I didn't just fall. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was pretty dope. Oh my God, this is the fastest I ever went. <laughs> this is how she looks when we're pulling into Jake's Wayback Burger. <laughs> Going to pick up our order that we placed online. This is literally her from the parking lot into Jake's. <laughs> Give me my food. Jesus. Everything was in place where it needs to be. I didn't shift or move this legging around. Where's the contour at? Is it still in place? Yeah, perfect. perfectly shit. Yep. Great, so that was even after a heavy sprint. So you don't have to worry about it moving around even with this lower compression waistband that they put in place. Ironically enough, it's time to work glutes. This is a little half workout vlog, half gym test. Today, I'm feeling good. Today's the day I'm going to actually push my luck and see what I'm capable of. AKA, we're gonna do some Bulgarian split squats. Right now, everything you've heard about them is absolutely 100% true. You want a real rounded tush, you gotta do the BSSs. And the BBLs. We already know these leggings are aesthetic AF, but are they functional and aesthetic? Let's hope so. We call that fun aesthetic. What? Functional and aesthetic, fun aesthetic. <laughs> what weight are you doing? I was gonna do none. <laughs> 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 but damn, ah. you had us all fooled. You're standing over here like you're, you're like you're trying to do some math in your head. No, I was just preparing myself mentally for this. Let me just do some warm ups without weight, okay? Let me get my body acclimated or reacclimated. It's been a while. Get down on it. Get okay. down on it. I actually love these without weight. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Whew, I still feel that burn. Whew. Lost my count. Muhammad Ali said he doesn't start counting until oh. it starts to hurt. Gotta love that workout. I feel it right here, and I feel it right here. Quit being a little bitch. Add some weight. Oh, I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> Proceeds to grab a 10. It's 15, bitch. Oh. Balance ain't what it used to be. <clears throat> Let's get it. <sighs> oh my God, the trick is to go all the way down as far as you can. We all know that muscle growth comes from stretching and contracting. And what are you doing when you drop it low to the flow? Stretching that shit out. Stretching that shit out. Oh my God. Well, on a great note, don't even feel the waistband. I don't even notice it. I don't feel any type of way. It feels great. A sports bra is hanging on by an absolute thread though. Holy Ooh. mackerel, Landy. 
saying a review about the sports bra. I like holding my hand out like this. Having my arm like this helps me remain as balanced as humanly possible. Now we're gonna see about these under booty contours when this leg is getting all stretched out. Okay, ooh. Is it worth it? That's the only thing I'm thinking. <laughs> is this worth it? You wanna do some heel elevated front loaded squats while we're on the topic of quadzilla? Okay, let's work some quads, let's do it. I haven't been adding weights to my barbell. No shame in that game. Really, I'm just trying to get my form down more than anything. I'm not really looking to lift that heavy. Just enough to push myself, but not to injure myself. Always warm up those wrists. This is what I learned in gymnastics. This warm up. And then we used to go like this. You can see the forearm muscles stretching when you're doing that. That's Thank really you. important. People underestimate the importance of your forearm muscles. For Don't sure. sleep on your calves and your forearms. Those are two muscle groups that are very easily ignored. And honestly, like your wrist strength. Yeah. More than anything, if you want to start lifting heavier, you need wrist strength. That's mm. something I lack big time. Dude, I've been wanting to get a pair of fat grips for the longest time for that very reason. So we're going to do some front loaded, heel inclined squats. Again, no weight. I'm just gonna kind of rest it on a little bit on my shoulders here. I know some people who really lift, lift their elbows up. Supposedly that's the proper way of doing it. This is what feels good to me. And we're not coaching either, guys. This no. is just what Ashley likes to do. Hell yeah. Don't take this to the bank. Okay, ready? Three, two. Boom. Oh, good form. Good. Ask feels... the grass. Yeah. You nice gotta go... job. This is why I'm not lifting heavy. Because if I did, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh -huh. I'd throw my back out. So to properly do it. The bar is all I need. Oh, Again goodness. with that oh. expansion of the stretch. Right oh. the quads. These are great quad builders. Nice job. Nothing. I mean nothing works my quads like this. Great seamless legging. And while my whole body is sweating, I'm not feeling like I'm overly trapped with heat right here. I'm not a huge sweater. Only time I was like raining sweat is when I would do HIIT workouts. If you don't have a barbell, you could obviously do it with a dumbbell here. Try it. Actually, sometimes I prefer it with a dumbbell. Just do it like this, like a goblet squat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this feels good. Or a kettlebell could work really well too. Absolutely. If you hold it upside down, better grip. I like this because the weight is centralized. I have more control. Now, before you do this. Gains are popping through the leggings, hey? How about really? it? Really? Yeah, good for you. Thank you. I always suggest stretching out that hamstring before you do this. Trust me, if you don't warm up and you jump into these, you're asking for it. Oh, shnikes, already I'm feeling it. Nothing makes my quads pop the way these do. <laughs> this is a very, very, very underrated little helpful tool yeah. if you want to get those quadzillas roaring. We'll have them linked if you're interested. Should I continue on those? No, I think that's great. We got a good idea of how the leggings hold up. I'm gonna do some curtsies, like I said. I Love them for my side glutes. Again, another super easy to do, highly underrated exercise right here. You this can do this in your bedroom. This really kills my side glutes. Like I'll wake up tomorrow feeling it. And when you go to sit down on the toilet, you'll feel it. This is me stretching out and lifting. So you're really just stretching out the side of your glute. Ignore my shoelace untied. Uh-oh, you better not step on I'm it. I'm a sloppy bitch through and through. Always and forever. Okay, buff bunny, BBL seamless leggings. Making me feel confident as hell. You know, honestly guys, I thought this color would be a lot lighter in person. It's not that bad. Did you see me almost slip on my shoelace? Oh. Nice job. The goal here is to have your extending foot go past your support foot, your base foot. 
by doing that, you're incorporating a little bit extra stretch that makes all the difference. Again, takes practice. If you're new to it, go weightless, focus on form, hold on to something if you need to. Very underrated movement. It's crazy how the glutes are one of those muscles where just working them for five, 10 minutes, you can see the difference. I love a nice glute pump. It just makes me feel so amazing. I feel high on life when I got a glute pump going. How does a glute pump feel in these leggings in particular so far? Restriction, movement, you've been bending and twisting like a pretzel all day, so. I feel amazing, I feel amazing. Mm -hmm. These are the types of leggings that I love wearing for lower body day. You can see every nook and crevice. Granted, I'm wearing a very thick underwear, so I'm not dealing with a dreaded CT. If I was wearing anything else, thin underwear or no underwear, you can expect a camel toe. Don't mind this absolute atrocity with what we got going on here, French Fitness. Shame on you, French Shame Fitness. Shame on you. Three, two, and we're off. Oh my gosh, my legs are shaking after the incline squats. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I could do. What I love is that there's no material bunching or wrinkling, nothing excessive, nothing around the kneecaps that I'm seeing. Nice. I always looked at leg extensions as that weird exercise where depending on when you do them is how effective they'll be. I always used to start with leg extensions and I would be able to do like a hundred reps, like five sets of 20, <laughs> but then you save these for the end where it's pure isolation and it's like, you can't even do a full set. Nah, nah, you're right. I will always gravitate towards squats, like the ones you just saw to actually develop my muscles, to actually see some real results. This is just a topper. This is just to really get them activated. I don't see as good of results and I'm lifting heavier with this than I do with just a basic barbell, but yet I see better results with that. It's a compound workout. That's just how it is. Machines are wonderful. They're a wonderful tool, especially for somebody who like me, like I can't always do that. When my scoliosis is acting up, I'm having a terrible day back there. I love hopping on these machines because it's better than nothing. Ideally, it's, it'd be a perfect blend of compound and isolation, but you gotta go trial and error, see which recipe works best for you. Absolutely. And it takes time. <laughs> That's all I got. You know that burn right after? This is what I like to do. <laughs> I like to just pat it. Those are the bongos. You're gonna get a long line of beatniks coming up at the window. Freaky beatniks. Let's hop on to some outer thigh. Is this a Mount Rushmore machine for you? It definitely is a Mount Rushmore, for sure. But I would say the glute drive, inner outer thighs, I also really like a leg press. This feels great. I really need to get a something here to hold on to. Okay, so now I'm feeling it right on my sides here. This is great. It's nothing spilling over here in the waistband. This is so lovely. Buff Bunny really turned this legging around, like cranked it out. And they have a history of doing that. When they come out with a legging for the first time, it's mm. usually drastically different than like V4 or V5. Yeah, they just keep tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and getting things better. And I really admire them for that. They don't just throw out a legging. They always evolve it and make it better over time. Whoa, Buff Bunny, bam, bam a lamb. lamb. Whoa, Buff Bunny, bam a lamb. Any gape in the back when I'm leaning forward? Nope. This hugs me perfectly. Yeah. There's so much stretch in the glute area, so I don't feel compressed back there at all. I don't feel sandwiched in. I feel like if you're really working on your glute gains, you got glute gains to show more power to you, then this will show that. It'll show it. It'll be a trophy booty. Let's just glute drive it out real quick. Get that mass going back there, okay. Get the mass, baby. Ass to grass, get that booty mass. I just wanna say thank you to Amazon for this bitch right here. This thing has been a actual game changer for me. I can only hit a certain weight limit on this before it hurts so bad. The belt would dig into my waist. I tried putting a yoga mat. I tried putting other things in the way, I'm trying to rig it and it would work a little bit. You were getting bruised up for a while. So bad to the point where then I couldn't glute thrust for days. And I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm literally trying to get somewhere here with my glute game. When I go to public gyms, 
they're the worst. One day there'll be a nice padded belt, the next it's gone. And I'm thinking to myself, where is it? Who did what with it? I'd like to know. Cause then the day after it's back again. If you wanna avoid all that, get yourself one of these paddings from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. I already talked about this in my gym video. Basically it comes with layers of foam fabric that you can put inside and it zips closed. I actually took a few layers out. So it goes pretty thicky. Me though, I don't like it too thick. Just thick enough. That's what she said. You were dying for that one. Another perk about this thing here is aside from the belt, you can strap it on if you want, not super necessary for us, but it actually goes long enough to actually cover the pressure points of where the belt yes. digs on the hips. Right so here. it's not like it's just concentrated right here, Right. but then you're still exposed on the sides. It goes long enough to cover your entire hip. It's amazing. Watch your angle, bro. Yeah, my bad dog. <laughs> There's actually two ways I like to do hip thrusts. I'm gonna show you the first way. Now, hip thrusts when on a glute drive, I'm referring to, of course. Now take this information and do whatever you want with it, what I'm about to say, but this is just what I like to do. Two different ways I like to do glute drive hip thrusts. One, I like putting the belt right slightly above my pelvis and I'm down a little bit. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna centralize the weight primarily on my low back, but my upper glutes. Does that make sense? I hope that does. Look right here. Upper glutes, feeling it. But again, we're not trying to coach you. We're not trying to nah. give advice. This we're just, just what I like showing to do. what Ash likes to do. I pulse it out a bit, it feels good. Yeah, don't sleep on pulses and holds. They're a really great way to add variety to your reps. Feels like I'm in a fever dream. This is what I need to be careful with since I have a very sensitive lower back. So I take this one easy. Don't get it twisted. I gotta take this one easy. Trust the thrust. This is what we mean when we say that, folks. We don't say it for our health. I gotta trust you. The other way I like to do it is I sit a little bit. I basically sit up a little bit more, put the belt a little bit lower now. Now the weights focalize more on the middle to the lower part of my glute. Feet are a little bit closer here. There we go. That's all lower juice right now, getting worked. The juice in that peach. Peach juice. Pulse, pulse, pulse. I actually prefer pulses, sorry not sorry. Holy crap. This is the part where I just lay back and think about my life. All the decisions I've made, good and bad. I just debate my life, really. All right, one more set. I'm gonna pulse it out and then rep it out. <laughs> 20. I'm going as low as I can. like that sometimes. I really try to squeeze it at the top, but boy, did that hurt. Oh, my glutes feel massive. That's called a pump. That's what we're all chasing. That's what we're all chasing. Okay, Buff Bunny, you pretty much nailed these leggings, but we're gonna do a sweat test. And we're gonna do a squat test. I am perspired as it is, but let's get some dripping sweat here. 12 squirts gets a few beads rolling. It looks, uh, I mean, it is a breathable legging, so I'm very dry. Real quick, let me just try to roll this waistband down. Oh yeah. Where I prefer a rolled waistband, right around here. Why? Because it still comes right at my hips, right where this indentation goes. This is where I want my high-waisted leggings to sit. But Buff Bunny put the logo there, so you gotta show the full logo. In order to do that, it's gotta go sit a little bit lower like this. But the question is, will it stay though? <laughs> One, two, three. Don't, don't ask what I'm doing, I'm just moving. Four, one, two, three, four. It's staying a lot better than I recall. I have I like an idea, it. why don't you do some uh, dips off the, off the bench? So that when you bend at the hips. Same place. Okay. All right, now don't touch the band. Let's see it to me. 
Yeah, stayed in place really well. Very nice. Yeah. It's a cute little touch Buff Money did right yeah, there. Yeah, nice. All right, so we've probably seen that these are pretty squat proof throughout the entire workout. One, two, and then now hold it. Okay, so yeah. nude seamless thong, it's egg okay back there. <laughs> now let's try some black briefs on. This is gonna be the biggest indicator of it all. Okay. Ooh, this isn't looking too promising. Okay, because I can see the black briefs when standing. Now let's squat. Ready? On you. Three, two, hit it. Hold it. One, two, three. Please do yourself a favor, just wear your nude seamless thong. Okay, these are a medium. They're not fitting that differently. Not what I expected. I thought that this would gape a lot, thought it'd feel way too loose, thought there'd be excessive wrinkling. It's not a whole lot of differences. Granted, this is slightly different color. This is the Earl Grey. So whereas the other one was very warm brown, light tan, this is more of a cool tone gray. I don't know if that has a lot to do with it, but I am gonna say not a ton of differences. I'm still sticking with my small for sure. If you're in between sizes though, size up. Yeah, it's still about the same amount of sheerness when you squat regardless. So it doesn't seem like it's a tightness issue. I think the only big difference is like, there's a slight baby gape now. Yeah. So the other one fit my waist a little better. So ever so slightly extra material right around here, but not a massive difference. All right guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below, how do we feel about the BBL leggings? The way they are treating this legging over the past few months, it is clear that they are making this one of their Mount Rushmore leggings. They nailed every issue that I had, other than sheerness. They really did nail every other issue with this waistband. Still a thin, very breathable legging, but durable enough where you can do more intense workouts. Like I said, you can rub things up against it and it'll be okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, don't forget to use my code GATA at checkout. Saves you 10% off of all your Buff Bunny purchases. And it really does help to keep these videos coming. You guys truly make a world of difference for us. Without you and your support, there would be no us and there would definitely be no YouTube channel. So we do appreciate you guys more than anything. That is 100% facts on God, no cap. Thank you guys so much for being okay. here. We love you and we will absolutely catch you in our next video. Stay posted. The next Buff Bunny video is going to be so good. So good. I'm really excited. We love you and we'll catch you in our next video. Bye bye. Just want to show you guys the pillow Bay picked out for the studio. It spoke to me. It really did. It's, it's embroidered and it's beautiful, is it not? There's like some strawberries there, flowers. Is that an orange? Probably. This Lemons. Is a lemon. We're old souls, so <laughs> our studio in our house literally looks like your grandparents' house. Like, no <laughs> joke. Like, we have, I have a horse picture. Like, we're all about it. Love it. We're old souls. Cottage core, baby. Yes, queen. Cottage core.